Welcome, Welcome to, to the Bass Plugs. So today we're fishing at a lake in Gentry, Arkansas. We call it Swepco Lake. It's actually known as Flint Creek Lake. But it's a special lake because there's a power plant there and it keeps the water warm throughout the whole year. Even in the dead of winter time, it's still about 70 degrees. Even in the summertime, it's about to be 100. There's Florida string bass in that lake primarily. So the average fish is larger than normal, probably around 2 pounds. So it's pretty cool especially for this area. So the, we fished with a couple different baits today and the first one was a jig. Now we caught say two to three of the fish on a jig and we caught them mainly fishing it around submerged trees and then also throwing them. There's a one good point that you can fish and there's a bunch of chunk rock on the end of it and we caught two of them with the jig right there. Um, we fished it mainly dragging it slowly because right now even though the water temp is 70 degrees that's cold for those bass and so they're a little bit slower and so we had to finesse the baits a little bit more. And, just kind of drag them and let them sit, but it still worked out. We caught a few on them. Now, what did you catch your other ones on? I caught most of mine on a shaky head with a purple uh, zoom trick worm. The fish in this lake tend to kind of like brighter color lures. I'm not exactly sure why, but that's just kind of how they like to bite. Uh, I was mad just hopping it around logs, lay downs, and big chunk rock, and we got lucky and got quite a few pretty decent fish there today. So the other spots that we uh, that we usually start whenever we go there and fish is the first spot usually is a discharge and that's where all of the water and the steam comes off of the power plant and that hot water is released and so a lot of the fish pile up around it and you'll see people fishing 50, 60 yards off of it and you'll see people fishing 10 yards right in front of it in 5 to 10 feet of water. It's just a good spot to fish. Then there's also the dam that's on the complete other side of the lake and this is a small lake keep in mind. But um, it's a really good spot to fish to catch bigger fish. You don't catch as many, but you will catch bigger ones. And then the last spot we actually like to fish, it's not really as known of a spot, is there's actually in the back left, there's one little creek channel that runs in the back, and it gets very shallow. And in the summertime, it can be a great topwater, weightless worm, fluke. It's just a great spot to throw anything shallow. So that's probably our favorite spots to go there. Mm -hmm. And we hope you all enjoy the video. And catch you next time. Peace. Oh, there's, there's one right there. You got one? Yeah, hold on. Heck yeah, dude. Another fish on, where's the net? Yeah, that's a pretty good one, too. Really? Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Ooh. There you go. Another one, the purple worm. Get him in there. Good job, mate. Oh, shit. Oh, bro, he almost broke me. Oh, Did you just see him hop? There you go. <laughs> wait. Boom. Wait. Boom. And then wait. Get a close up. I'll show it. Can you see it? That worm. Bada bing. Bada boom. There you Good one. Oh, shoot, watch out. How big are you gonna use? I'm quite, oh, feels pretty good. Oh, shoot, he's running good. Good line on him. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, he's fighting good. There he is. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad one. Oh, oh, heck yeah, dude. There you go. I need a bad one right there. Purple worm, shaky head. Oh, got one. Is it a good one? Yeah. Oh, shoot, that one feels good. Oh, shoot. Dude, that's not a bad that's one. That's a good Whoa. one right there. That was quick, too. Pulled up to the spot. Caught us a spot. No. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Yeah, still, still safe. Yeah. 
Look at that. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Bass, Bass Plugs. So today we went fishing. <laughs> <laughs> today, that's as far as we get. <laughs> today 